Hi guys, I'm Silvio and this is a new first unboxing and full review of something, a Lemax lighted building. And it was time after more than a year, but it is entirely my fault, so please forgive me. More precisely, this is Caddington Conservatory Gardens. Item number 25867 2022 Lemax Incorporated. The back here. And the name of the building translated in all the major European languages, English, French, Portuguese, German, Dutch and Italian. Everything translated correctly, except for the Italian version. It should have been uh, Giardini del Conservatorio di Caddington. Why Conservatory Gardens di Caddington? Half sentence in English, half sentence in Italian. Same thing for the exterior lighted building, everything translated correctly, except for the Italian version. Edificio illuminato dall'esterno. Not correctly, not entirely correctly. Uh, a quick notice about uh, uh, the product, this is not a toy, etc, etc, in all the major languages. It is the first time that I don't see a little square here in the corner uh, advising uh, the uh, customers about the type of illumination you get inside, about the type of LED you get inside, but it's marked here. No, it's simply marked that it is a 4.5 volt um, building. Same thing from the other side, 4.5 volts. And in the, from the front side, you get the, the full look of what you will find inside this perfect packaging. <laughs> Not perfect. This standard Lemax packaging. Caddington Conservatory Gardens uh, with a giant uh, signpost illuminated by an LED. Because for it, the particularity of this building that it is full of light. Two real street lamps on the corner, another LED here uh, projecting lights towards the big main uh, shop uh, sign post, even if it is not entirely a, sh a shop, it is a conservatory gardens. Merry Christmas, uh, view our holiday displays, and here another LED. Two more lamps with some LED inside, some flowers, Beautiful Christmas. And I think also all around the perimeter of the building and also the top of the roof, you get uh, colored LEDs. I don't know if they are flickering or not. Surprise, it's time to open the box. Let's open the box. Okay, standard uh, carbon, carton box and then inside the classic styrofoam with close it with some elastic band I don't see okay it is upside down I was searching for this guy the Lemax top where is the top 25867 the bottom bar so this is the bottom and this is the top oh okay Let's see if you have a little something in here. Yes, you have. Let's remove this. Okay. Here you have nothing from this side. And then here you have the AC adapter with European plug, more precisely Italian plug. This is new from Lamax that you get this directly in uh, outside. Maybe they started in 2021 using this method. Uh, generally they place inside um, a battery holder uh, with the, the possibility of adding an, an AC adapter. This is the first one. I damage as always my little 
styrofoam box and inside oof, is a massive building guys very fragile I think yes this is plastic the street lamp lamps are plastic and I think this is not perfectly attached to the building anyway let's find a way to to take it out from the styrofoam it is always a problem the first time you need to learn your buildings okay so i think this is a switch obviously yes a switch let's remove the internal packaging with the silica gel i think for absorbing the humidity inside okay good then on the bottom of the box some notice uh, yes yes some notice about how to connect it to the sc adapter and oh yeah it has no uh, bulb light let's see yes okay so very precious this time they've covered and um, uh, the bottom of the building with some fabric with some um, yes this is some fabric that prevent the building from sliding uh, sliding on top of the surface and that prevent also your furniture to be damaged by uh, by the building said that it is a porcelain mainly porcelain okay so this street lamp here is not quite glued very well i will need to glue it once again so yes trees inside uh, LED inside, LED outside, uh, the uh, the signpost, uh, little trees, etc. From the back here, okay. The switch. This will cause me some problems because everyone knows that you need to wire at maximum your cords, your power cords. So this will be a problem to hide it correctly, but anyway, you simply will have to connect the AC adapter standard and then switch it on forever. And uh, what is what I see here? Uh, yes, here it is the connection for the uh, LED micro LED stri strips. There, yes, you have four micro LED strips one two three and four no LED from the back no micro LED from the back roof etc it's a massive building very heavy in my full review I will detail uh, every aspect the, the weight the dimension etc but it is a massive with some residue of glue on the signpost here just some glue uh, don't um, don't forget that this is an handmade uh, building the Lemax always do uh, a minimum part of uh, uh, of factory work and then the rest is done uh, manually uh, handmade I have the impression that this is a little curved I don't know guys but you may see that this is almost straight and then a little curve there maybe i got uh, a not very perfect building but i will keep it because every single building um, from lemax is unique so even if you buy the same building yourself you will not get the same result once um once you have on your end because some differences are always there uh, yes this is plastic guys plastic with inside some three mil three millimeters led 
the others two are three millimeters LED. Enough for the uh, first unboxing, uh, let's do the full review. And after the first unboxing, here is the full review of Caddington Conservatory Gardens. It is a lighted building from Lemax Caddington Collection, from the 2022 Lemax Caddington Collection. A very interesting building, at least in my opinion, even if a little massive and very heavy. Let me take my glasses, otherwise I'm completely blind and I will switch to the correct screen. Okay, and now uh, let's start as always by getting around a couple of times. Side, back, here it is the other side and then the front once again. Uh, let me stop when I will reach the front. Okay, and stop. Oh, let me place the camera in plain front. This is item 25867. The dimension, the width, 21 centimeters, the height, 19 centimeters, the depth, 15 centimeters, in inches, 8.3 inches with. 7.5 inches 8 and 6 inches in depth. The weight, be prepared, it is 1389 grams, almost 1.4 kilograms. That is equivalent to 49 ounces. So very heavy, very massive. That's why they added some black fabrics in, uh, on the bottom to prevent scratching anything from your uh, furniture to my styrofoam on my layout. Uh, what can I say? It is obvious that my uh, building is a little curved here on the right side and this is the outcome of the street lamp here that is very bended towards the outside. You can see that here, the angle even from the side like that, the angle here is very pronounced towards the outside. But this makes my building unique. No one else will have this same building, so I will keep it, I will not... Um, uh, ask Lemax for a uh, change. Let's go to the back here. Uh, the back is massive, as you can see. Uh, here it is the um, cord connected to the uh, on-off switch. I couldn't prevent it to be a little masked when in plain front view due to the software that is shooting all the photos needed all the pictures needed for this review but here is the switch guys and here is the cord and you can see here in plain middle the plug for the AC adapter this building come with its proper AC adapter not a battery adapter as always with Lemax building but this is a proper AC adapter a 4.5 volt AC adapter uh, let's go big screen and let's start by the roof. Roof, a little, maybe a little oriental just in the top here with these almost pyramid uh, top ending here, triangle and a squared base. So this is a pyramid uh, with these very little uh, second floor, second level. Then going towards the um, towards the bottom, the roof has no tiles. This is supposed to be, I think, some metal roof, some metal plate roof, even if it is red. No tiles at all, but some snow good, because sometimes Lemax forget to add snow on top of the 
Paddington collection buildings, but this time we got uh, some snow. Uh, here, all along the ridge that uh, is the junction between the front and the back of the roof, some, um, some half spheres here uh, painted in plain gold. Let's go towards the bottom some more. Uh, here is the separation between the roof or what is uh, under the roof and the building itself. So uh, those are not tiles but are bricks. Uh, Grey bricks with fake small windows with some arcs here and there. But those are fake windows as always. Uh, for the back of the building for Lemax because no need to have real windows in the back that is supposed not to be in plain view. So Lemax here uh, 4.5 volts and this is uh, the back. Let's see from the back here also from this uh, point of view that the roof is as a depth so very interesting uh, uh, perimeter form even for the top roof from the side let's go to one side here this is the left side uh, left side so from this left side let's go full screen you can see that uh, from this side the top here of the roof has an horizontal very long small real uh, windows and it is illuminated when you switch on the uh, light. Uh, then this is a little, <laughs> a little ornament to the roof. Um, I think this can also be a, a wheel or a turning wheel for a boat, something like that. Getting towards the bottom two real uh, windows and you can appreciate that this is an unmade uh, building so the square uh, to simulate the hole in the windows are absolutely not even they are very odd this is not even completely cut as a, a square the this one here on the bottom yes but the other ones no also once again, this makes those buildings very unique. A little Christmas tree with some balls, and then also here, uh, not, I think this is maybe a Christmas or a winter cactus in some, um, in some container. This one also has been glued a little too... Um, not perfectly vertical and it, it is a little bended towards the left as you can see but uh, this is red and everything so some other snow here on the side on the uh, bottom of the building here the street lamp here on the uh, far corner here i still need to remove these uh, filaments those are not nothing else than some filaments generated by a uh, uh, art glue gun because some parts of this building have been glued have been assembled using a art gun a art glue gun sorry once again art glue gun let's go once again towards the top here you can appreciate something that it is a little anachronistic for a Caddington building, those are some, this one in particular is a LED strip, a, a LED strip, an LED strip with, with micro LEDs, one, two, three, four, five, and six, that are red, green, and yellow. I will show you in the next minutes a picture with everything uh, illuminated. So this is the first LED strip from this side and it is the only thing anachronistic but it is also something that makes this building very interesting from the other side same configuration starting from bloop bloop from the top once again it is symmetrical so nothing 
uh, strength. No, maybe yes, those are two windows. Yes, my bad. I, I just said that here you have one long window, but instead you can see that you have one little window here on the left and one on the right, all around the, the three sides except for the back. My bad, sorry. So, from this side, the same um, ornament here on the roof, and then another uh, LED uh, strip here on top of the border of the roof. Uh, another couple of the same uh, windows you got from the other side. And two more little trees here. They are not the same, this time they are not the same, maybe, yes, they are not the same. This one is a, a little pine tree, this no. Okay, some other cactus, winter cactus or something like that. And some more snow and another uh, street lamp from this side. Let's go to the very interesting part, the front side, guys. Very interesting, this is the building. The building is the front side. From the top, here some ornament on the top of the roof, some gold ornament. Then you have here an LED that project lights onto the um, onto the uh, shop sign post here, and another one here projecting on the secondary uh, shop sign post. Caddington Conservatory Gardens, big. Uh, Victorian frieze here on left and on side, some golden balls here on the groove between this side, top side here and the bottom side, grey, green, black, those are the colors, standard colors, but they, they are very, very well uh, thinked um, in contrast with the red of the roof. So you can see here anachronistic LED 1D version 2.0. So here, here it is not something related to the shop itself, but it's related to the LED strip. And you can appreciate also here from this angle here, the connection here uh, with the, the uh, two wires that connect in, in the inside to the main uh, adapter that brings uh, electricity to the street, to the, um, to the LED strip. Uh, from the other side, you don't have the same cables, but you also have here on the top, another connector to the strip that are on top, on the very top here, from the right and from the left. And this time, as they are not uh, the same long strip, you have, uh, uh, two connectors there uh, and also you have another couple of strips here on the side of the door here left and right but the wires are masked here on the uh, on the bottom here here you can see maybe i'm going this way here you can appreciate the wire the green wire here and from the other side, you can appreciate the black wire here in the corner. So, uh, couldn't mask everything. Lemas couldn't mask everything for this building. Secondary, uh, secondary sign post, uh, uh, shop sign post, uh, Merry Christmas. View our holiday display. And another Victorian frieze here, some, I think, some leaf on the left and on the right. On the door. Fine, festive trees and rats. Blue on top of a on, on red uh, door. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. Um, this is needed to uh, attract the viewer attention, but blue against red, yes, then white, negative here, positive here, and etc. A little uh, watering can here, not anachronistic, used even in Victorian era. Uh, some more uh, glue filament here that I still needed to clean. 
and please look here on the corner of this window this is not impressed by myself this is uh, a finger print from the uh, from the person that build, that assembled this uh, this building uh, it is I, I can i will not be able to remove these but it is only visible from certain angles and not from other angles so uh, once again i will keep all my building with all the defects that they are a little uh, a little uh, couple of uh, trees with some red bows on the side of the doors another uh, christmas um, cactus here in front of the left big window those windows are perfectly victorian guys very rounded as a bow window some bow window bow window is an element of our architecture architectural element very used a bow window is a window that can come outside of the building those are standard windows those are bow window and they are bowed so they they get off the building towards the audience okay some bow windows like that inside the bow windows you have a couple more uh, led that project light inside the bow windows here on the left and here on the right and inside the bow windows what what can you have nothing else than some more trees and cactus this is a conservatory garden guys very intelligent to not have um put some ornaments on the on the trees and on the cactus this is not supposed to be a christmas tree shop this is a conservatory gardens you keep you conserve the trees as they are so very intelligent i appreciate this effort from lamax here another post on this little bench here and also very interesting these um stone bench this is a stone bench very uh, very uh, very well done and a bluebird i don't know if it is a real bird or just an ornament from the the guy who owned the shop but once again this is very interesting the pot the the third post Beautiful Christmas plants, poinsettias, amaryllis, and Christmas cactus. Please look left and right. Very intelligent. Maybe a little too oriental, a little too Chinese, this curved line here. But this is one of the rare buildings from the late collection, from the late Lamas collection, that is not that uh, oriental that he, that has been modeled correctly not that oriental not that chinese just please just remember that all the artists that model the first um, prototype of every building is oriental is chinese because the um, the factory is in china uh, a couple of stairs or rounded stairs also uh, stone steps absolutely beautiful very well rendered uh, I know mm, it's not that good looking to have this street lamp here on the right to be bended I don't care uh, have I forgot something? No, I don't think I haven't. Inside the cactus. One thing that I can't understand is why. Uh, I don't know if I can show you correctly. It seems that this tree here inside the bow window has some snow on top of it. Come on, this is supposed to be inside the building why some snow on top of it but i may be wrong those are flowers uh flowers but i don't know if they are flowers okay good perfect 
because this one on the left has red flowers here as red flowers i let me suppose that this is not a snow that these are those are white flowers you have also some trees behind here in the corner behind these um these posts here very interesting shape it is an alice you can see roop 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 up to the uh, to the top uh French uh, three, but this is a conservatory garden. Maybe this is supposed to be uh, a very exotic tree. This one too, prop, 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 helis. Okay, then some pine tree. I suppose some pine tree. Um, before getting uh, further, let me show you this picture here, guys. Um, this is uh, one shot that I took uh, after shooting the panoramic 360 degrees um, shot around the, uh, mm, the building to let you see every and single one of the illuminated LED. This is a real LED and it is very rare to have Lemax buildings uh, with LED or lights from the outside but these is this has many lights one two three four five six two four six and then those strips those led strips very very big amount of lights the led strips you can see this is yellow red green yellow here green uh, red yellow green so only three colors they forgot blue because with blue this would have been perfect because LED, blue led uh, mixed with the others makes the christmas building guys uh, it is a very yellow and red are very uh, hot color they are not cold colors but blue absolutely beautiful it would have been very beautiful and look inside here the light projected to the trees and all the shadows that the um, the inside led are making obviously those two uh, street lamps are and the, the led inside are too feeble to illuminate correctly the um, the street um, below them but the the interesting thing are the the other uh, LED. Here you have the because they are orange, yellowish, orangish, and they project also a uh, colored uh, light towards the signpost. Okay, so six lights plus. Uh, all the street all the led strips and i've only took the shoot from the front side but uh, even uh, even the side here has the same uh, green red and yellow uh, micro led conclusion i needed to have this building so i bought it um, do you need to buy it maybe yes because it's one of the rare items from the last uh, last three years um, buildings from lemax that is very interesting pure victorian pure caddington not like those buildings that uh, are shaped as a bottle or as a, a coffee grinder those are too exaggerated. This is pure um, Victorian era design. Pure Victorian era architecture. Very, very beautiful. What else can I say? Nothing. This review is already very long. Um, that's all. Let me get once again towards the screen here 
off my glasses and look toward the camera and this is all for the newest uh, review after more than a year please forgive me for that i will add another review i think next week um, for the other building i bought for my 2022 christmas village that is right behind me right now but i love this little cottage behind my shoulders right now very uh, fall um, almost winter i love it so as always please don't forget to subscribe comment and give big thumbs up bye